Hi, big tractor power fans. I'm out in a northeast Iowa alfalfa field with an Agco White 6175 tractor and John Deere 560M round baler. We're going to spend some time up in the cab of the tractor visiting with the operator and learning about round baling hay with this equipment. Before we climb up in the cab of the 6175, let's take a brief look at its specifications. It was manufactured by Agco at its Coldwater, Ohio factory from 1993 through 1999. It's powered by a CDC Cummins 505 cubic inch engine rated at 175 PTO horsepower. It features a Funk full power shift transmission with 18 forward and 9 reverse speeds. It has a 1000 RPM PTO, a 91 gallon diesel fuel tank. It weighed in from the factory at 18,556 pounds and can be field weighted up to 22,172 pounds. The tractor's original price tag was $91,272. The 560M baler being pulled by the 6175 tractor is part of the Zero series of round balers manufactured by John Deere in Ottumwa, Iowa. The Model 560M and the Model 560R, which has slightly different specifications, are the largest round balers available from the company. The minimum tractor PTO horsepower requirement to operate the 560M round baler is 75. This baler weighs in at 9,342 pounds from the factory, and according to JohnDeere.com, the list price for this machine is $45,249. John Deere markets the 560M and other Zero Series balers under the theme of you'll have zero reasons to look at any other round baler after you've operated one. So let's climb up in the cab of the tractor and talk to the farmer about what he thinks about running this machinery. Good tractor for us. So, Will, we 
we're moving along here at a pretty good clip, you know, eight and a half miles per hour. Can this go faster to produce a bale? Yeah, you could take this thing, you know, you could take a couple to a couple mile an hour on this baler, but, um, you know, I, I focus more on the size and the shape of my bales rather than how fast I get the job done. Mainly for me selling my bales, um, you know, a lot of guys look at bale shape and see how well you bailed the bale. So. See another one headed down the field. Now, I know she backed up on this top. We're along a little bit of a hill. I guess that's to keep it from rolling down the hill. Yep. Yeah. Right now we're going to point it down the hill, so I keep it from rolling back at us. And um, if we're going back up the hill. I'll point sideways to keep it from taking off behind us. So. Now this monitor here from John Deere is that also showing you with the compression inside, or what's happening with that? Yeah, it just shows you your bale shape. So okay. That's for basically when you go side to side. Now I switch to sides and now it's going to go the opposite way. So actually, so we're running a little offset. Is that what you're doing? You're feeding one side and then the other one we turn around? Yep. Just all the, depends upon the way you have your rake set. If you have it set narrow, you weave. Um, I like to, normally I have my rake set wide, as wide as the pickup, then you don't have to weave at all and you make a little bit nicer bale. Um, just did favor, the conditions didn't work out today to do that, so we're doing it like this. start feeding in over here on the right hand side. Well I think it's good that you, you know, looks like very nice bales out there getting the good shape. You can always move faster but sometimes it's better to get quality and have a happy customer. Right. That's what's what we're after around here, you know, at the same business, you know, some guys can take it real fast but this doesn't seem to get me anywhere the faster you go and sometimes the more problems you create for yourself. So. Well, it looks good from up here in the cab. see it and uh, be up here in the cab see your perspective of running across the field here I hope you've enjoyed seeing this Iowa hang operation up close and learning about how these machines operate. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comments section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where there are over 1,000 pictures and short video clips to see. As always, thank you for watching.